That, that brings up the question of physical therapy, right? Where you're gonna strengthen muscles, take, take some of the load off. Uh, but physical therapy for somebody with osteoarthritis, it occurs to me, also hurts. So uh, I generally, and I think there's good data, our, our guidelines um, recommend pool therapy or aqua therapy. And I can tell you in North Carolina, we have a lot of retirement communities. Uh, each one of those has an indoor pool. They all have water exercise class. And uh, I have uh, referred several patients to either YMCAs or uh, community health centers that have these, and surprisingly, some of it, it helps some of the patients. Well, it's not the problem there, is right? the ladies don't like to go because yeah. they either don't want to be in a bathing suit or they, it takes too long to get their hair dry. But uh, I think it's that's a wonderful uh, early treatment that a primary care physician can recommend to a patient. It doesn't cost very much. So, Peter, it's interesting. We've done a lot of research on this. Uh, we have a patient-centered uh, outcomes grant for this from. Uh, Pecori, looking at what patients want from a conservative treatment um, option perspective. They want to self-manage their disease. They want to be able to choose what they want to do. They don't want to read in a book or be told what they want to do. And they want to be able to control the amount and the intensity of the uh, exercise. Physical therapy is wonderful, okay? Everyone feels better for the two hours associated with the physical therapy. But you can't go to physical therapy for the rest of your life. So going to a therapist and learning some things about arthritis management is a great idea. There are going to be on, online tools to help uh, with, with these uh, treatment for patients. Um, we're developing one. The ones that are online now are not quite there yet. There's a lot of commerciality to them. They're, they don't tell people exactly what they want to know. But these things need to be social so they can talk to other people that have these disorders and learn how to cope, learn coping skills, learn mindfulness, learn, learn how to deal with pain. What are the other ways to do this rather than taking uh, two Percocet? They need exercises that are uh, commensurate with the level of their disease perhaps a coach to help them through these situations. Um, and then what medications, modalities, other conservative management uh, techniques that Andrew mentioned, heat, ice, braces, uh, rubs, salves, whatever. Right, that brings, the other question I have is, and we see these advertised every single day, the topical analgesics. Oh my gosh, it's a billion dollar industry in the US, they, I've been uh, told. Uh, okay, easy I question, see guys. Hots and all right. these things. Here's the question, right out in the middle, 800 pound gorilla, do they work? <laughs> Short I think an answer. Patients, okay. Short some term? patients feel that it helps them. Do I personally prescribe them? No. One of the, one of the things I want to get back to Rich is that I, I also don't use a lot of physical therapy prescriptions for patients with osteoarthritis. I think uh, Rich has got it uh, exactly right. You've got to do the right type of exercise and empower the patient.